Hello everyone, welcome to part 9 of Citrix Zenap, uh, uh, Citrix Zenap 6.5 training. In this video, in the last two videos, we saw simple publishing application, then we installed uh, some application and published them. In this video, again, a little bit more about hosted applications. Uh, actually, in video 8, we stopped here when we were trying to uh, when we were trying to verify that if applications are accessible here, we open the web interface. If you already have a Citrix receiver on this, you don't need to reinstall the Citrix receiver. All you can do is skip to login, and it takes you to this login here. You use your username and password and domain and login. So you're trying to log in into a web interface. So it is trying to connect to a web interface on this server as our web interface is sitting here. Uh, now at the same time, let me log on to the second server. Make sure you log into a domain by typing anat slash and next. It's logging in, and here I'm now logged into Citrix. So in Citrix, if I go inside, I can see application within application. I see the application that we published. Let's try to open one of them. Now it is trying to open a session on a Citrix server, and here it's launching launching a so first time when the session is open, it will take a few minutes. Let's see, and starting the session, and last time you remember there was an error message, so all I did was restart this machine and that's it. Let's try FileZilla on this, again it's opening a session, so sometimes, especially in this VMware environment, because uh, machines, we do not shut them down properly. Uh, so for that reason, sometimes it is uh, machines uh, lose connectivity to other machines to other other VMs inside. So here it is still trying to launch and it's working. So so the solution for that that problem that we saw in the last video, if I'm not running on client, was just a restart. So on here. On the server, we see these as well, and it should be able to work here as well. It means our applications are published properly, and they are accessible in our network. So the next thing that I wanted to show you, the next thing I wanted to show you, let's uh, quickly wait for a few minutes to the, for this to show up. Here it's working. Here they are on the desktop here as well. Open this other application. <coughs> okay, it will open. So let's go here. Uh, now the second thing that I wanted to show you, we can go here and we can, you, there are two other options in public applications and that is, you go into here, you can kind of uh, 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 publish URL. So here, let's say I wanted to publish URL for our web interface. So let's say Canix web, Canix Citrix web interface. Citrix web interface. So normally people won't be able to remember the URL for this. So in this case, if you want to just don't publish application, you just want to enable URL, you can go to content, next. Here you can type the address. So the address that I'm looking for is, I want to publish this website address. So here we're going to go to preview. And here I'm going to publish this address. So let's go here. I just copied that address and then I'll put it here. So the same address that I'm putting it here. 
you don't need to put this all you need is fill run up and next. so once this is done who is it accessible to it's able to accessible to everyone here you can change the icon if you want and there are not much icons at the moment so we'll just give the same icon you want to put a desktop here uh, you want to put a shortcut on a desktop so now I have this in the same manner there is another thing that we can see and that is uh, we can publish and that is the server desktop so this server desktop can be published for client users or mostly this is for Citrix admin who wants to connect to Citrix admin remotely so let's say I'm gonna say this is XA desktop XA desktop and then what I'm gonna do server desktop it will publish this desktop and I'm gonna show you how it looks like and it is available on both servers and then it is for only administrator we won't be opening it for all users so administrator going back to users OU then administrator it's done here we need to place it on the desktop and it's done so we did two things so for in in content type so in content type we can do so here the type so here let's say you want to publish some word document or maybe publish some another URL so let's say you want to publish a URL of your HR department and HR department URL is something and just like HR there are many other URLs you want to uh, publish let's say I want to say Canis URL so Canis website we can go here and in this I can select content in content we can publish many things we can publish so here it granted user to access the content such as documents you can publish you can publish web pages you can publish video presentations and many a server desktop granted access for the entire desktop including resources application available from the desktop menu and shortcuts so this is just a desktop here I'm gonna just publish uh, the website and website will be HTTP and here I'm going to say www.canf.com and next it is available for all users and we're going to say here it's just waiting once this is done So yes, it was just waiting for this icon. So it's completing. So it will be done in a few moments. <coughs> and then we're going to test them. So in publish, so it, it is done. Now done. Here, finish. <coughs> so it's all done now let's test this first of all I'm gonna test on the same server all you need to do go to Citrix receiver just say uh, refresh application now we see a desktop we see two URLs so here if I go to desktop it should open the complete desktop of the same server so now I am connected to a desktop now same thing if you are a Citrix administrator you can go to a client machine and first of all we'll just say preferences we'll refresh application so applications are refreshed I can just double click on the desktop and here the same this same desktop from this is open and administrator can have full control on it so since it is only for administrator, it is asking for username and password. I'm going to close this. Go here. Same thing you would see here. But if you need to access Zenab desktop, it is published now. Second thing, it's the URL. So normal clients can go to this URL. 
and it will directly take them to so they don't need to remember what is their Zen app, uh, a Zen app website, so they can directly go here. Once this is done, same thing, if this machine has internet, they can directly go to Canis website, just double clicking it. So guys, this is how, uh, this is how we publish other stuff in, uh, in Zen app. So, hope you like this video. And in the next video, I'm going to show you streaming application, which is a little different concept. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video.